everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm here with another video and I am so excited to do this video because I cannot believe after all of these years of me doing work from home job videos I've never done a video like this okay so I'm very excited to do this video because in this video right here we're gonna be talking about the best work from home jobs for moms okay and these jobs are great if you have children and especially if you have small children because you know you can still take care of your children and still be able to do these jobs you don't have to talk to anybody on the phone and i think that these are some really good jobs all right i definitely want to go ahead and come to you guys with this video because i started working from home and all of my children were at home when i started working from home they weren't super little my daughter was fairly young but my boys were teenagers and I too have had to you know work these type of jobs and manage having kids at home and working okay so when I mention all of these jobs and all of these different categories if there are companies that are currently hiring in these categories I'm gonna go ahead and list those in the description bar for you guys so before we go ahead and get into everything if you like these type of videos make sure to share this video make sure to like this video make sure to leave a comment and make sure to subscribe to this channel if you are new here here, all right so we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it all right so one of the best type of work from home jobs you can do at home as a stay-at-home mom is the job as a virtual assistant okay and the reason why I say that is because virtual assistant jobs will allow you to work daytime hours typically between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and you will not be working that whole time all right so most of the virtual assistant jobs that I know of are part-time so you can kind of work you know part-time none of of them will have you working the whole time from nine to five you'll get assignments that you can do throughout the day between the hours of nine to five so that will still allow you to care for your children or do any of the other important things that you may need to do okay so an example of a virtual assistant job you're going to be doing administrative duties so that means you'll be sending out emails you may be managing a calendar or you may have to set up a conference call different things like that that you'll be doing and again none of these things are going to require a lot of your time none of these things are going to take too much time away from your children and you still will be able to have you know flexibility during the day all right you may have to be on the phone a little bit speaking back and forth to the client but you're not going to have to be on the phone too much or you know for a whole span of eight hours like you would have to do if you worked a customer service job all right so let's go ahead and talk about about some of the companies that I like that offer virtual assistant jobs and one of the first companies that I like to recommend is Vava Virtual and Vava Virtual has a virtual assistant job where you're gonna make $15 an hour and you'll be doing it part-time so with this position right here you just need to reside in the United States I'm not sure if you can't be in certain states I do not know that they would like for you to have one year's experience working remotely or virtual related experience also experience communicating in online communities and experience with technology such as Google Suite, Basecamp, Slack, and Microsoft Suite, all right? So if you've done some type of administrative work outside the home, then you can definitely, you know, do virtual assistant work from home, okay? Another company that I really like is Boldly, and Boldly also has virtual assistant jobs. They actually have executive virtual assistant jobs. And as an executive virtual assistant, you're gonna need more experience it looks like they want you to have a minimum of seven years experience in a role related to administration and executive assistance but the pay is going to be $20 an hour so you're going to make more than you would make with Viva Virtual and you're going to also get paid vacation and holidays and paid parental leave okay so boldly hires in 23 states so if you're not in the states listed here you're not going to be able to apply to work with boldly so aside from boldly and Viva Virtual you also have time etc they do hire for virtual assistant jobs as well I'm gonna leave the links to all three of these companies in the description bar for you okay so another great job that I think is great for moms with small children is social media moderating okay and with social media moderating basically what you're gonna be doing is you'll be moderating the social media pages for different companies okay so I feel like this is a good position for stay-at-home moms and
and moms with small children because again you do not have to talk to anyone you are just going to be managing facebook twitter again you're going to be managing their social media pages you're going to be responding to comments you're going to be assisting their customers online and you know interacting with their customers online via social media and a lot of these jobs are part-time and flexible so you can work you know when it's convenient for you you can work flexible hours so boldly also has a marketing and social media specialist position another company that tends to hire for social media moderators is mod squad i'm not 100 sure if they're hiring for that right now so aside from interacting with the customers on the social media platforms you may make posts for the company to try to drive sales and engagement and also you know post promotions and different things like that so again it's nothing too hard for you to do you don't have to talk to anyone it's flexible and you don't have to you know commit too much time to it so i definitely think social media moderating is great for stay-at-home moms all right so next up i think one of the best type of work from home jobs for a stay-at-home mom is a data entry job all right so with a data entry job of course you know you don't have to talk to anyone you're just going to be inputting information unfortunately data entry jobs are difficult to find in the work from home job field there are a few companies that hire for data entry but they do not do it often and then there are a lot of other companies that are going to charge you and different things like that so you know we definitely don't want to do anything like that but currently we do have the company maximus and they're currently hiring for an intent administrator and this is a data entry type job so with this particular job right here you're going to be listening to caller clips and you're going to be capturing the appropriate concept of data and entering the information into proprietary software and so that's pretty much the gist of what you'll be doing and they only need for you to have a high school diploma or ged now this is a full-time position and you're going to earn 15 dollars and 44 cents an hour and it does say that you do need to be able to have the ability to work a flexible schedule so another company that tends to have data entry jobs and they still do have a data entry job available which i posted on my channel a couple of weeks ago is wilder circle and they're hiring for a data entry specialist this position does pay 15 dollars an hour and again you're just going to be verifying data and correcting data where necessary entering data from source documents into prescribed computer database files and forms and they also would like for you to have a high school diploma and one year experience with large amounts of data entry now this particular job does have benefits so along with the 15 dollars an hour you're going to get benefits and paid time off again i did post Post this job a few weeks ago and they got tons of applicants but the job is still available so you can definitely go ahead and apply if you're interested and this is a full-time job as well and we're gonna move on to chat jobs okay so everybody loves chat jobs when it comes down to work from home jobs I've been getting tons of chat job leads lately but they do not last long at all so again when you see a chat job if you're interested in it you have to apply for it ASAP okay so chat jobs is when you assist customers via email and chat app and you do not have to talk to any customers but you would be assisting tons of customers i mean it could be four or five customers at a time so even though you're not talking to anyone you still have to be on point and you still will be working okay so right now currently zapier is hiring for customer success champions and with this job right here you would be assisting customers via email and chat so currently they're looking for candidates located along the pacific standard time and mountain standard time zones so if you're in those time zones definitely go ahead and apply and they like for you to have one to two years experience in customer support working with apis or in the saas industry and again you're going to be assisting customers via email and chat to ensure that they have the best experience possible and you're going to be sending 60 plus emails a day troubleshooting their problems and answering their questions and writing documentation to help users help themselves another good thing about zapier is that they do provide you with the equipment and they also provide you with health care so they're going to set you up with whatever apple laptop plus monitor combo you want plus any software you need 
So yeah, Zapier is definitely one of the go-to places to go for chat jobs. You can definitely check them out. Their link will be in the description bar. Now, as far as another company that hires for chat jobs, we have the company Flow, and they're not hiring right now, but they tend to hire like every three months. And when they do hire, they're hiring from most states, except I think New York and California. It may be one other state that they don't hire from. I do believe they pay around $13 an hour, and I do believe that the position is full time so you would be working 40 hours a week with that position okay so again that's another company to definitely look out for go ahead and check out their link in the description bar and you can randomly check to see when they're hiring and of course when they are hiring I will do a video on them all right so moving on, we're gonna move on to transcription jobs. And transcription jobs are great for stay-at-home moms also because again, most of them are very flexible. I don't know of too many full-time transcription jobs. Most of them allow you to work when you wanna work and you'll just be listening to recordings and transcribing and typing those recordings. So two of the companies that I would recommend for transcription jobs, one of them is A&P Transcriptions. With this job right here, they're looking for legal transcriptionists and you do need to be experienced and US based. And this is a 1099 position and you can be located anywhere in the United States. And again, it is flexible and they would like for you to have high level grammar and spelling skills also transcription licenses, and they will be administering a test prior to any work assigned. Now they're asking for a lot, but we do have other companies like Rev that don't ask for as much experience or as many requirements. And this particular company, they have direct deposit, competitive pay, and of course you would be working from home and you do need to have the necessary home office tools, which is gonna include a computer, a headset, a pedal, and express scribe, okay? But again, transcription is super easy for you to do, and you can do it. I actually know a few people who are stay-at-home moms and have small children, and they do this in their spare time, and it's a great way for them to make extra money. Again, this is more so of a side hustle. I don't know of anyone that's doing this full-time, but of course, you can work for several different companies and do this full-time if you chose to do so, okay? Last but not least, we have online scoring, and scoring is pretty much one of the only one of these type of jobs that you will need a degree for. So if you do have your four year college degree, it doesn't matter what field it's in, you would be eligible to be an online scorer. You would be scoring standardized tests, okay? So when you score standardized tests, you know, you learn the material, they give you a rubric, and you get the student responses in, and then you assign a score to the student response, okay? So it's super easy work. And I have talked about scoring tons of times on my channel, but I highly recommend it. I've been doing it for five years now, and it's a great way to make money in your spare time. It is great if you have children because you do not have to talk to anyone. You can work when you wanna work, and you know you can still you know do your things around the house for the kids if you needed to as well all right so one of the companies that i score with and have been scoring with since 2015 is pearson so pearson is not hiring right now because the kids did not test due to covid 19 and everything but testing should be pretty much normal this year because a lot of kids will be back in school and a lot of kids will be doing remote learning. So companies will start hiring for scoring later on this year, all right? So with Pearson, you can work anytime you wanna work between the hours of 8 a.m. and 11 p.m. and you do need to work a minimum of 20 hours per week. Now the pay for the job with Pearson is $12 an hour. You can do it from your laptop, you can do it from your desktop computer, you can do it from your iPad. Again, this is something that you can do in your spare time. So as long as you work that minimum of 20 hours a week, again, you can work four hours a day, you can work two hours a day, you can work three hours a day, it's totally up to you, as long as you work your minimum of 20 hours per week, all right? And you can make bonuses if you do score accurately, and you wanna make sure that you score accurately because of course, you know, these are children's futures and things like that. And the more accurately you score, depending on how well you do, you will be invited back to score the next scoring season. So speaking of seasons, this is a seasonal job, meaning that you only work when scoring occurs, which is generally in the fall and the spring, and you can make a few thousand dollars each scoring season, all right? So Pearson is one of the companies that I like to recommend. I do not have a 
good link for Pearson right now. Their site is down, I guess, due to COVID-19 or whatever. But another company is Measurement Incorporated. Now with Measurement Incorporated, they hire readers and evaluators, which is pretty much the same thing. But Measurement Incorporated requires you to do a lot more reading. So if you're not someone that wants to do a lot of reading and I do a lot of analytics type things, then you may want to pass on that. With Measurement Incorporated, you're going to make $11 an hour. And with Measurement Incorporated, you're going to have a set schedule. So you can choose to work the whole day or you can work the morning shift, an evening shift, or an afternoon shift, or you can work a combination of two of the different shifts. So theirs is a little bit more structured, but again, it's still the same type of thing where it's flexible and you're not gonna be tied down, you know, or talking to anyone or anything like that. Okay, so last but not least, we have Right Score. Right Score is a scoring company that I just learned about last year, and their scoring season begins in late July to early August. So I'm not sure if they're going to be hiring right now due to everything that happened with Corona. But with Right Score, you only need a two-year degree and you have to pass a qualifying test. So currently they have a wait list. So if you go ahead and, and you know submit your information, you can be on the wait list. Just to let you guys know, I did submit my information to be on the wait list last year. And then like a couple weeks later, they reached out to me for a position. So, and I'm not sure how much you make with Right Score. I think you may make around $10 an hour. I'm not sure. And with Measurement Incorporated and Pearson, you would be an employee, a seasonal employee. And so you would get paid every two weeks, direct deposit, or you can get a paper check. I'm not 100% sure how they do it with Right Score. I think with Right Score, you would be an independent contractor. But again, I'm not 100% sure. But I am going to leave all of that information in the description bar for you guys, okay? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, make sure to leave a comment if you did. And check out all the links in the description bar. And I thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.